வந்தேகம் The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on the 25th of May 1975 in Honolulu, Hawaii. ஒரு <laughs> we want to understand the feeling externally we may not be very much equipped krishna takes the feeling bhavagrahi janardan so prahlad maharaj he is one of the great personality in devotional line தர்மசாஜனாஜீனோர்ஸ்டர் concocted ideas actually religion means the law given by god that is religion dharman to sakshat bhagavat this type the law given by the state by the government you have to accept there is no question that the government is christian government or mahamedan government or hindu government it doesn't matter the law given by the government you must accept you cannot deny it so actually god is neither hindu god nor mahamedan god nor christian god god is god his power is omnipotent it is equally applicable to hindu to muslim to christian anyone to animal to human being just say like god has given this law he must die this is applicable to everyone hindu muslim christian man animal trees birds bees cannot be disobeyed that is law that is god's law he may be very much advanced in knowledge or so called science but because god says that in the material life you must die you cannot avoid this law. that is called dharma dharma means the characteristic that god has given this law he is that he must die this is called religion similarly god says that you are my eternal servant you must obey me. that is religion to try to understand the meaning of religion religion means the law given by god and you must accept it that is the people do not know they manufacture religion the how you can manufacture religion law can be given by the king by the state by the government if you manufacture some law at your home consulting your wife or father and mother who will accept it nobody knows 
you may be puffed up that you have manufactured a law, but nobody will care about it. The law given by the state will have to be accepted. Either you like it or don't like it. It does the law will not depend on your liking or disliking. You must accept. If you don't accept, then you are lawbreaker. You will be punished. Similarly, the religion means, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad, sarva dharmān paritpadya māme kaṁ sarva That is really That you have manufactured so many types of religion, you give it up, kick it out. This is religion. You surrender unto me. So if you become a surrendered soul to God, that means you become a devotee, then you are religion. Otherwise you are criminal. Therefore Shastra says that you should follow the great devotees. That is religion. You cannot manufacture religion. You cannot concoct religion. You just try to follow the great personalities, and that is religion. So then, the shastra there are great personalities that have been mentioned, just like Lord Brahma, Narad Muni, Lord Shiva, then Kumaras. Then Kopila, Manu, and Prahlad. Prahlad or Janaka Bhishma. Prahlad Maharaj is one of the great personalities who knows what is religion. So he practiced it. Unfortunately, he was born of an atheist father, Hiranyakashipo. But by the grace of Narudmane, he knew what is religion. He had seen in the play that when his mother was pregnant, the demigods were taking her uh, to the prison just to keep her in observation. That the child which is born of a it is father, Hiranyakasipo, may not be missed. They wanted to kill him also. But although he was born of an atheist father, demoniac father, he became a great devotee by the instruction of Narada. Narada Muni took his poor mother. He asked the demigods, why you are harassing this lady? After all, she is a woman, she is dependent. So, by the order of Narmuni, they let her go, and her husband was engaged in tapasya. So, she had no protection. Therefore, Narmuni took her at his ashram and instructed her about God consciousness. That is the duty of saintly person. Prahlad Maharaj, while he was within the womb of his mother, he heard all those instructions. His mother, in due course of time, that is the nature of woman, she forgot the instruction. But Prahlad Maharaj remembered. Therefore he became a great devotee. This is the history of Prahlad Maharaj. So Prahlad Maharaj became a devotee, not a so-called devotee, that if my senses are gratified, then I shall continue to remain a devotee, either I, either I, I shall sleep away, go ahead. So he was not such kind of devotee. He remained devotee, in all circumstances, you see, his father wanted to chastise him in so many ways. 
But what was Prahlad's fault? He was chanting Hare Krishna. And the father did not like it. So he wanted to induce him to stop this Hare Krishna, but he never stopped. In all circumstances, he remained steady in uh, when he was thrown into the boiling water. It is said oil. He was sent. He was put into the oil. So he remained steady. So many demonic persons threatened him. He remained steady. His mother was instructed by the father to give poison in the food. So he remained steady. Then the father understood that my son has got some mystic power. Uh, the mystic power was that he was a great devotee of Krishna. That's all. A devotee never practiced any mystic power. But a devotee being protected by the supreme mystic, Krishna, a devotee is never in danger in all circumstances. That is the instruction in this. So just to try, try to remain a devotee always, and Krishna will give you protection in all circumstances. There is no fear. The devotee is the man, devotee of Krishna, and Krishna does everything. If something mystic or magic has to be shown, the devotee does not take any credit for that magic, because the magic is done by Krishna for the sake of devotee. So he doesn't require to learn the art of magic to cheat the people. That is not. When magic is required, Krishna plays. Krishna is called Yogesa. Yoga is mystic power. And he is the Yogesa, master of Yogesa. Yoga, mystic power. Jatsa Yogi Sara Hari. It's like Krishna was on the chariot of the Purukshetra uh, battle, Arjun. Uh, Arjun was facing enemies, big, big enemies like Bhishma, Karna, Dronacharya, and many others were very, very powerful. Arjuna was nothing before them. They are compared with Timingal. Timingal a big fish which swallows up the whale fishes. So Maharaj Parikhit said that although they were Timingal like, they could kill thousands of Arjuna, but still, because you are protecting him, sitting on his chariot, they were killed, Arjuna was not killed. So uh, the devotee, he doesn't require to acquire any mystic power. What mystic power Pallad could attain? He was only five years old. So there is no opportunity of acquiring any mystic power. But he was being protected by the supreme mystic, Krishna. That should be a devotee's point of view. Don't waste your time for acquiring so-called mystic power. Just devote yourself to demand a pure devotee of Krishna, and you become the supreme mystic. That is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Yogi-nāma-pi sarvesāṁ madgata-antarātvanā sadhyāvāṁ bhajati jūmāṁ sami yukta There are many yogis, mystics, but Krishna confirmed that of all the yogis, of all the mystics, a person who is always thinking of me, sadhyāvāṁ bhajati jūmāṁ, 
जोगी नाम उपी सर्वे सा मत गत अंतरात्मा ऑल इज थिंकिंग मी कृष्णा विद इन हिम टेल हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम तो कृष्ण से ही इज द बेस्ट जोगी जोगी नाम अपी सर्वे सा सर्वे सा मीन्स अफ ऑल अफ ऑल कैंड सब जोगी द बेस्ट जोगी इज वो इज ऑल इज थिंकिंग ऑफ मी दैट इज कृष्ण फिलज ऑफ इज टीचिंग इन द भगवद गीता मनमोना भव मत भक्त मत जाजी मांग न बस गुरु फोर थिंग्स इफ यू सिंसियरली डू दीज फोर थिंग्स ऑल इज थिंक ऑफ कृष्ण मनमोना जस्ट वी कैम इज दी वॉट ई मनमोना भव मत भक्त मत जाजी वार्षी कृष्ण जस्ट लाइक वी डू इन द टेम्पल रोम मनवाना यू कैन डू वॉच यू एनी वैर इफ यू आर ए डिवोटी ए डिवोटी कैन वॉच यू कृष्णा एनी वैर अंडर नी द ट्री बिकॉज कृष्णा इज इन एवरी वन थाट ईश्वर और सर्वभूता नाम निर्देश अर्जुन सांडर नी द ट्री यू थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा चांट हरे कृष्णा देर इज हैपी सेन कृष्णा डज नॉट रिक्वायर Any big paraphernalia. He only wants how you are a sincere devotee. That's all. And that devotional service can be discharged in any condition. How it took you up to the hada? It cannot be checked by the material circumstances. This is the process of Krishna consciousness, and you see the five-year-old boy. Uh, how he was protected from all kinds of dangers, and he refused to take any benediction. He refused. The devotee should not be a mercantile man. If you give me something, then I shall give you some. That is business. A devotee is not like that. He understands. That is eternal servant of Krishna. His duty is to serve Krishna. In the material world, a servant works when money is paid, wages. A devotee is not like that. A devotee serves Krishna out of duty. That is God consciousness. Krishna consciousness. That it is my duty, and then Krishna takes the responsibility. It is my duty to protect the devotee. This reciprocation is called Krishna consciousness. There is no question of business transaction. Then you will be protected. Krishna is nobody's servant, but everyone is Krishna's servant. Then everyone becomes Krishna's servant. Then everyone is protected by it. Krishna is protecting. Ah, uh-huh. Krishna is God. So he is protecting everyone. He is giving food everyone, but he is specially inclined to the devotees. Sama sarve su bhute su, samo hang sarva bhute su. Namen de sasthi na priya. Krishna says, God must be equal to everyone. God is one, so he is giving everyone food. The birds, bees, they are getting food. Uh, the elephant, he is also getting food. Who is supplying food? Krishna, God is supplying. So in that way, he is equal to everyone in ordinary dealing. But he specially deals with the devotee, just like Prahlad Maharaj. When he was put into danger, then Lord Nishinga Dev came personally. That is the special duty of God. That is not unnatural. If somebody says God is partial, that He takes special care of His devotee, no, that is not partiality. Just like a gentleman in the neighborhood, he loves all children, but when his own child is in danger, he takes special care. That is not unnatural. You cannot blame him. 
that why you are taking special care of your own child. No, that is natural. Nobody will blame you. Similarly, everyone is God's son, but his devotee is special. That is God's special attention. Jitu bhajanti maang pritya teshuti mahi. So, God is giving protection to every living entity, but if you become devotee of the Lord, pure devotee, without any motive, then God will take special care of you. That is Krishna consciousness moment. That we are being harassed by māyā, the material energy. And if we take shelter of Krishna, then we will be specially protected. Māmeva ja prapadyante māyā mītāṁ karam. So, try to become devotee of Krishna. Our Krishna consciousness movement is teaching this philosophy. We have got so many books. Whoever comes here must read the books. Devotee, the uh, inmates of the temple, outsider, then will understand what is Krishna consciousness. Or you should chant Hare Krishna only. Don't talk ravish things or style. That is not good. A single moment is so valuable that you cannot purchase it by millions of dollars. Uh, uh, today is 25th May, 4 o'clock gone. You cannot bring it back. 4 o'clock, 25th May 1975. If you want to get it back again by paying millions of dollars, it will not be possible. Therefore, we should be very careful of our time. Time once wasted, you cannot get it back in time. Better utilize this time. The best utilization is to chant Hare Krishna or think of Krishna, worship Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much.
गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरे बनधारी यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन ಜಯಾಮಸ್ಪಾಪರಮಂಗಸಬ್ರಿಭಾಜಲಾಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ತಿಕರೇಸ್ಮಾಪಿಜಯಂತಪೋಧಿಭ